Hey everybody, I'm back with a little bit of a haul here. I decided I would take a little trip to my local, um, not scrapbook store, yeah, I guess card store, card making store, whatever. Um, not one of the chains, you know, like a big box store. Um, it's the only one in my area now, so um, they are still open, which is nice. And they had a sale on a lot of their Christmas and spring items, so... Uh, first thing I picked up was these easy mount storage panels. These are the ones that do not have the magnetic backing. They're just the, um, you know, for storing your cling mount stamps and have quite a few of the red ones. So I wanted to, um, pick these up. I've been meaning to do that for a while now and I just forget to order it. So I picked two, two packs up. There's five in each pack and they're made by Crafter's Companion, um, I got this Christmas stamp on a wood block. It's Christmas time in the city. And then um, on the end, there is a little stamp of a, uh, what do you call it? Holly berries and um, leaves on that, on the end. It's by Memory Box. I didn't know they had wood, mountains, wood mounted stamps. But there it is. And that's what it looks like. I would love to get a cityscape of my city. Um, maybe I'll just go ahead and make that up from an image that I can get online and just make my own stamp up. That would be a great idea. That would be fun. Because I don't think I've ever seen one of my city since it's not big enough for it to really be produced, mass produced. Um, this one is, I don't know who makes this stamp, but there is the sentiment. If you want to read it pause the video um this was two dollars so thought that was a great deal um well maybe not a great deal i don't know i did get the magic iris um components from lawn fawn i picked up the scalloped add-on the snow globe add-on and then this is the mechanism to make the magic iris um the all those dies are from lawn fawn um, I think this was the only one that was on sale because it's Christmas. It's considered Christmas. So it might have been 25% off, I think. Um, then I um, got a bunch of these um, related dies. Well, this one's from Memory Box. So it's a little cabin. Um, it's called Country House. And then it's got little trees here. And this is typically they're the exact same size that you see on the packaging. So it's a really small die set and then I got um these are all kind of related so this is a snow how do I say this you can make this into a shaker tag um so it's a scene die and you get the little cabin you get the tree um trees in here and then you get the I guess the smoke and the Santa Claus and the reindeer um and then this is another they, they kind of all coordinate together, if you get my meaning here, because they're listed here on the back. Um, so this is the cabin one, and then this is like a, a scene where it's just trees, and you got the radiant, and you got clouds. And then this is a another one with trees and snowmen and clouds. And then this one has little... Um, pieces here now this one happens to be um a die where you've got little creases that that are in here so you can actually create your scenes and coordinate them so you see how there's a crease right here at the bottom you would basically fold that and adhere it to one of these and you could make a dimensional um scene tag because that's what that is it's a little tag um, and so I bought all the different components that can, you can use to make the scene, different scenes. So there's four dies there, but well, there's actually more than four dies, but there's different versions, right? So that's what these are. And those are all from memory box. Um, I picked up this one, which is from Penny Black. This is, do they have names for these? Beautiful berries. So it's a, um, branch. Um, that has berries on it and you can ink up the berries if you want them to be a different color than the branch. 
Um, okay, got the uh, Picket Fence Studios. This is a um, background stamp. I don't know what it's called. Sweater Pattern Maker. So I thought it'd be great. I have lots of dies where you can cut different, um, you know, uh, sweaters and mittens and socks. And you can use this stamp to, to stamp the pattern. Uh, this is a die that actually uh, cuts a sweater pattern or a knitted pattern. What is it called? Doesn't have cozy. It's called cozy. Um, and then I got this one, which is an ornament, and it has a lot of little details in it. So it's going to cut the holes, um, but it's also going to uh, perforate it all the way around. You know, make little dots into it around the holes that it cuts. And then you can cut this with a separate, you know, like a metallic color or something like that and put that on top. Um, some of the stamps that I got, I got this Penny Black um, cling stamp. This is a really nice one. It's a uh, winter scene, but it's over water. Um, this is supposed to be water here, so it's like a shoreline, which is really nice. I don't think I have one like that. So there's a picture right there, if that helps. I guess it's not really winter. It's more of a um, winter. It's, it's more of a shoreline type of image. There's There it is, bigger. Quietude is what that's called. And then I picked up this Colorado Craft Company. Now, at first, um, I guess you could make this a big ornament, but you don't have to because the um, ornament topper is not attached. So you could probably just use this as a background stamp. And I, I kind of see this maybe stamped... Um, and embossed perhaps this would be a lot of fun i you know you guys know i like the nordic sort of scandinavian look um i don't know what this is called mm -hmm -hmm. i don't know if they have names on their products nordic ornament so there you go um i just thought this was really fun i could see just cutting maybe stamping a background in this and then cutting some shapes I like that. This um, Hero Arts um, background stamp. This is red rubber. Um, is there a name? Oh my goodness. Winter Village Peekaboo Cling. Let's see. Gotta put my glasses on. I happen to have them right here. Yeah, Winter Village Peekaboo Cling. So um, I thought this would be a fun one to have. I They had two different stamps that had houses on them. And I like the houses on this one because to me, this is more like your um, winter village as opposed to the one they had was more like less, well, less, less snow-like, uh, more your typical houses. This is more like, to me, like, you know, um, uh, Alpine village type of look to it. So I picked up this one instead of the, I put the other one back. The other one was a um, photopolymer. And it wasn't a background stamp. It was actually individual houses that you could use. And they were different style houses. It was really a really nice one. But I chose this one because I thought this one um, was uh, one I'd use more than the other. And then it was cheaper because the other one was like 16 something. So I went for this one. And I could see probably just blocking out maybe the Santa if you didn't want the Santa in there. But, you know, whatever. Oh my gosh, he's got presents falling out. And then I picked up this Tim Holtz one, which I hadn't seen um, this year. I usually pick up one or two every year from him. This is a nice vintage um, scene set. So it's called Holiday Scenes, and it's CMS 425. Um, you've got a, a winter one where there, there's people walking down into to like a little town here. This one where you got Santa on top of a rooftop. Oh, it says, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. And then this one is inside the town, like a town square. In the air, there's a feeling of Christmas. So all of these scenes are really nice. I thought these would make really nice card fronts to do. Simple and quick card fronts. I did pick up this uh, Cozy Knit um, embossing folder from Fun Stamper's Journey. Um... I don't know. I have quite a quite a few. I have quite a few of these type of um, embossing folders, but I don't know if th this is one of the ones that I have a, the same pattern of. And I don't know if you can see that very well, but let's see. Here we go. Does that show up well enough? 
So it's it's a little sweater knit. You know that I like that kind of stuff if you watch me long enough. And then I got two paper packs. This one is um, Cartabella. Let's see. Scissors. Time to do a uh, flip through. I haven't done a flip through in a long time. Because I never buy paper anymore. But I wasn't even going to buy this. Um, but I think it was 25% off plus an additional... 40? I don't know. Some of this Christmas stuff was an additional markdown of 40% in the clearance section. So that's one of the reasons why I probably would have bought the... It really didn't matter to me. I was just there to support my local craft store and get me out of the house for a few. So the colors in here are more of your blue-green type of... Um sort of color range. It's not your traditional Christmas color. And it's very um, whimsical. So, because I... Oh, look at that. Sweaters. Um, because I liked most of the patterns in this one, they had lots of Christmas paper that they had on sale, and I just felt like... Um, they're repeating now. So, I felt like um, this is one I'd, I'd use more. Snow Much Fun is what this is called from Cartabella. So yeah, really cute. And then I picked up this one, which is uh, foreign. It's uh, Chow Bella Paper Crafting, um, made in Italy. And you can tell this one is more um, vintage. But again, <laughs> it uses the same colorways, blue. Blues and browns in this one. So this one's not a pad, it's a uh, individual sheets, and you've got double-sided as well. So there's some cut-aparts, which I never use. Oh, look at that, even the cardinals are blue. I guess they're not cardinals then. <laughs> so you got some birds in this one. Um, wood. Um, these are more cut-aparts. So I guess you could say this is a winter um, set. Look at the little bird right here. And then another wood, more striping berries, berry branches. They're blue instead of red. Some snowflakes, got picture, uh, words on this one. Same thing for this, but in blue. And I hope you guys can see this okay. Um, this one has hearts in it, like snowfall, but they're hearts. That's cute. So this is a six by six. Um... And then that's more like a sweater pattern. Stripes. Another sweater pattern, but it's a blue one instead of gray. And then this one has more stripes. So this is, again, uh, music paper. And then snowfall. And I think we're repeating now. So there's the house. So yeah, you get um, doubles too, which is nice. Because I actually... Um, was looking at this pad and I was like I really like the patterns here and it's 24 sheets and they're double sided what happens if I like the other side the front and the back side so um I picked this up um for use in winter and Christmas crafting um thinking you know this is just right up my my alley uh I don't know why I'm putting this in here because I'm gonna put it in a plastic box um <laughs> So that is my haul for today. Um, oh, and if you guys were wondering what that slimline box card looked like, I did cut one. So you can see it here. Here's a slimline box card. And as I said, it folds flat. I'm not done with it, obviously. Um, but I just wanted you to see what that looks like. It was in my last haul video. Um, I cut two um, pieces to hold up stuff that you would, you know, want sticking out the top. Um, and this is going to be the back flap, so it's not creased. And it's got another part that you can, you know, stick down in here. So I haven't stuck that down because I'm going to put stuff, I'm probably going to stamp onto it or something like that. So I didn't want to stick it in yet. Um, still working on the card, but that's the box card. And this folds flat and it fits in a number 10 size envelope, um, which is standard um, business envelope. So you don't have to put extra... Uh, postage on here unless it's super thick you know unless it's extra weight so I wanted to share that with you because I did cut it um but anyway that's my haul oh wait did I show you this one 
I did get this die. This is an Anna White die. It's the Santa hat. I don't... I picked up a Santa hat from Cottage Cuts, but it was all on a plate die. And I prefer to be able to cut these two pieces separately from the hat because it's probably going to be, you know, a different color. So I went ahead and picked this up because it was on sale too. So anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.